I like what Peter says. Income tax always touches me in a very tender spot. And when an Englishman speaks of paying out money, then things can be as bad as they seem. <laughs> Usually, whenever I discuss with people the kind of world we want, they astonish me by describing a utopia without cares. They tell me of a world where a man can lounge around with a pipe in one hand and a book in the other. As for me, I like this world. Hey, Mustakeo, it's time for another reaction video with Kuya Andres. Are you guys ready? Now let's go back inside and watch a nice video, guys. Ayan, inside now, let Mas malamig dito kasi may aircon grabe ang init sa labas na yun well, today we're gonna watch Johnny Antilon, the Filipino genius boy speaking in front of the United Nations. So pamakaling talaga, matilino talaga. And the way he delivers, the way he speaks is so articulate. And not only that, he seems so extremely smart. And as far as I remember, he's just only 15 years old. Yeah, and there's Johnny Antilon, guys. I like guys. what Peter says. Income tax always ch touches me in a very tender spot. <laughs> and when an Englishman speaks of paying out money, then things can be as bad as they seem. Wow! <laughs> Usually, whenever I discuss with people the kind of world we want, okay. they astonish me by describing a utopia without cares. Yeah. They tell me of a world where a man can lounge around with a pipe in one hand yeah. and a book in the other. As for me, I like this world. Oh, wow. I like the strivings and the plans of this particular century, for it makes me feel like being a part of a wonderful and exciting experiment. Wow. What do you guys think? Is the system of education the same as it used to be? Is it better? Is it worse? And I'm not just talking about here in the Philippines, I'm talking about anywhere in the world, whether it's Europe or America. I think the education system was much, much better before. At least I remember when I was a kid, I mean, the things that we learn in school compared to what I see the kids are learning today has a big difference. I marvel that not everyone realizes how fortunate he is to be, allow to be alive today. Here we are on the threshold of realizing the communion of nations. Here we are, favored spectators at the unveiling of some of nature's most precious secrets. And we are closer to the stars than we've ever been. Right. However mm. much I like this world, I still believe there is one thing it can do without. War. Yes. Perhaps my reasons are selfishly personal. Perhaps I exaggerate the, in the impact of war. But I survived one war mm. and I know how it feels. I know what it is to be afraid of nothing and yet everything. Yeah. I know what it is to crouch in a shelter's corner, not knowing if the next bomb would be my own. Wow. I admit that war has given us many times the necessary push to do many things that might not have been done otherwise. Mm. But still I hate war for its general uselessness. Of course. I hate it because every time we have one, we rob ourselves of time which we could have used in building and not destroying. Yeah. If I had lived before the A and H bombs, I might be less optimistic of the future. But I feel that we shall enjoy peace. Because I believe and I feel deeply that no nation shall start a war which none can possibly survive. Right. With the weapons now in our hands, and if we start another world war, there can be no distinction between loser and victor. Wow. Unbelievable. I mean, can you imagine being 15 years old? This is the way you talk. This is the view you have of the world. And he's absolutely right. World wars are absolutely destructive to everybody. Naka-amaysa ko talaga. Johnny is so intelligent. And the way he and his fellow uh, youngsters have been thinking about the future is amazing. And he's absolutely right, I think. Utopia is a dream. Diba? Do we really want to just lounge around and do nothing? I think he's right. We live in an exciting time. Things are changing all around us. For the worse and for the better. But why not get rid of the worse and make it better for everybody? Let's continue with Johnny. Okay, guys. I do not want a future which we, shall, which we are sure of shall be rosy. 
because I believe that I like the suspense which okay. gives to life its only true zest. If we must lose, okay. I do not want to be disheartened in advance. And if we must win, I do not want to be bored by knowing so beforehand. Yeah. I believe that if there is one thing we deserve, we deserve the pleasure of anticipation. Nice. I believe that this world we have deserves a boat of confidence. With its dirt and cleanness, its ups and downs, and its total unexpectedness, it has given to us, through variety, more pleasure than pain. This particular century deserves special credit. <laughs> Whatever else it may be, it is still the broadest, the most exciting, and the most promising yeah. of all the centuries that have gone by. Oh, oh. May this world always have its troubles except one. May it always be as challenging as it is. May it always have the scope and panoramic view that each one of us can have in it. May it always be, and may it never be, a place, a soft place, for soft people with soft heads. For I believe that we need the challenge, consilience, to bring out the nobility that is in each one of us. With such a world of such challenge and scope, our lives might never be complacent, yeah. but they shall certainly be worth living. Wow. Wow. Guys, what did you think about Johnny? I mean, yes, of course he speaks English very, very well. So pamakaling siya mag English. Kaso that's not the point I'm making. I'm making the point that he's smart, intelligent, bright, and I think and I believe that our education before was so much better. He's talking about the future. He's talking about how the center is exciting. And I think this is right. This guy is so unbelievable. Just imagine all the things he's been thinking about. And I think this is how it was before the age of the internet. Now with the internet, with the games, online games, with the TikTok, with videos, with YouTube and everything, Facebook especially, Instagram, people don't have time to think about the future of the world. We don't engage as much in politics as we used to do. We don't think about the future, about other people. It's all about us, 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 me, 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 deba. Right? We need to go back to a simpler time. A time where we all helped each other. I think that would be great. He speaks so well and I think he was the most amazing presenter of all the kids who spoke at the Foreign Student Exchange Program at the United Nations. And guys, please leave me a comment below. Tell me what you think about Johnny Antilon and his speech at the United Nations. Tell me what you think the future holds for us, not only here in the Philippines, but for the entire world. And tell me, do you think that the education system was much better before or do you think it's better right now? Pasa akin ha, mas maganda yung education dati. So thank you all so much for watching and please leave me a comment below. Tell me what kind of videos you want me to react to. And don't forget the most important thing. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button so you will be notified whenever I have new videos for you guys. All right, so mabuhay sa inyo lahat. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to click that subscribe button and of course the bell button so you'll be notified when we have new videos for you.